Hello everyone! This video is gonna be me kind of like showing you around where I make my earrings and stuff but to be completely honest with you my room is kind of a wreck right now not as bad as it normally is it's only a wreck per se because i've been reorganizing so i can put my hamster's cage up high elevated and i made like a space for him when he comes i had to move around some stuff so i need to fix some stuff on my walls and i need to kind of like reorganize some things and it's a little messy right now but this video is going to be introducing you to my earring station area where i make earrings and stuff and I'll just be showing you around, you know? Honestly, this video is just a big promo for my Etsy shop because I really need money so I can buy my hamster. My shop has been doing pretty well, but recently it's gone downhill a little bit. And here's a promo video for it. So, you know, just some self-promo. To give some information about the hamster though, I have a cage, it's a bin cage. I have bedding, I have some toys, I have like hideout and stuff. Really what I need to buy is food, a wheel, and some sand for a sand bath. And that's about it. There's some other things on my list that I'm trying to buy and then I can buy the hamster. I have applied to some jobs to get back to work because where I work normally is a movie theater and those are closed right now where I live and they won't be opening anytime soon because of COVID and stuff. You know, Maryland has been pretty serious about not opening things up. So I applied at like Home Goods and Starbucks and Aldi and hopefully one of them gets back to me. I don't know though. And I owe people money like my dad and my brother. So we're just trying to get through this so I can get a little friend that will help me not be lonely anymore because I am constantly lonely, constantly. Okay, let's get into this video. I'm at my desk right now. Normally this is where I make earrings. There's stuff all over my desk. It's kind of a wreck. And I was filming right there, so I had to take stuff down. So I'm gonna put it back up so I have more space. Okay, so in here I have screw eyes, jump rings, and then I have um, earring hooks in this normally. I just ordered some, so I should be getting those soon. And then I have like charms in here, and then I have bronze earring hooks, and then I have other things that I make earrings with all in there. Here's some earrings right now. These are actually mine that I made for myself. I just haven't put them on my earring stand yet. And then I have some earrings hanging off there. Then I just have my crap everywhere. Here's my laptop. Look at my pretty stickers. I love them. And next to me is business cards and packaging for earrings. I put earrings in these little bags before I put them in the, um, whatchamacallit. Then in here is stuff that I use for packaging earrings as well. Down here is some more of that. Then we go below and then we have casing for earrings. These are my Littles Pet Shop minis and some shells. Then in here, some more earrings, keychains. I just kind of put everything in one place because I don't have a great organizing system yet, but everything's fine. Then next we have all my Shopkin earrings. And then one more, we have all my letter bead earrings that and some soda can earrings oh and here we have some letter beads um i just haven't found a place to put them because actually i used to have a big thing over here for storage but i moved it over there and i'll show you that in a second and that used to be on top of it so i'm still kind of working out where everything's gonna go down here is some stuff like possible earring stuff to make there's little pet shops in there and then down here there's little pet shops in there then i have this one which has all of my gift um earrings that i put in every single package um as extras apparently i'm going crazy there's another one here i was looking for it forever but it was just sliding right here and it has um letter beads and all my gear earrings in it so i'm going insane because i totally forgot that one existed Next we have over here, this is gonna be Elvis's cage. Um, Elvis is the hamster. Elvis, if you can read that. And then down here are the two storage bins. This one was over there, like I said before. This one has like earrings in it and stuff. This one down here has the top loaders 
and then packaging. And then this one down here has bubble wrap, which I literally never use. Then over here, this is my lunch, but these are all the earrings I've made for myself. Um, you can get a better look at those. You know, I wear them a lot. I don't wear them a lot, a lot because we don't leave the house like ever, but I wear them when I feel like it. And that's pretty much everything. If you want to buy some earrings from me, you can go to the link in the description and you can buy some earrings from me. I only ship to the US due to COVID and prices and stuff like that. So check me out on Etsy. Hi, this is Ken editing. Um, this transition is gonna be awkward because I don't know why, but I didn't film something or like it cut off, but uh, the this part of the video is me like packaging someone's earrings, if that was confusing. So now you know. So these are the earrings that someone ordered. I just kind of cut out a piece of like old cardboard and I stabbed some holes in them because I'm not going to go buy earring um, cards if I have cardboard that I can make myself, you know, recycling. So I'm going to stab some holes in these and then I'm going to put these through there. And then I'm going to go get a little organza bag and put those in there. And then I'm going to go fill out one of my business cards and say thank you for ordering, etc, etc. All right, so they're in their little um, card thing, and then I'm gonna put them in this organza bag, which is what they're called apparently. So they're just gonna go in here. So since I know who this person is, it's actually my great aunt. I know she's not gonna want Shopkin gift earrings. So I think that I'm gonna have to pick my very own special pair of earrings for her. I think I'm gonna make those right now, actually. So I'm gonna film that, which is great. I'm gonna make her like a custom pair of earrings. She didn't ask for these, but you know, I'm a really good niece or whatever. I think I'm gonna do the butterflies, like a very simple small pair of butterfly earrings for her. Normally I don't do work on top of my laptop, but I don't really feel like moving it, so. This is very simple, just gonna take the uh, earring hook and I'm gonna put the little butterfly thing on it. Sorry if this is really bad angle. Then just very simple little butterfly earrings. I might make these and put these in my shop at some point when I get some new earring hooks. If you're interested in these, they will be in my shop at some point. The other one, just, simple two pair or two whatever you know what i mean these are the extras i'm gonna put in here my grandmother is actually buying these for my great aunt so then this is just some like old cardboard that we have in my house for some reason and i normally just cut it into like a a square to put the earrings on they don't look as fancy but I am saving money and reusing stuff that we already have in my house. There's the gift earrings on their card, and I'm gonna go put them in a little Ziploc baggie, I think, but I'm just gonna mark this out because I also reuse Ziploc baggies that I get when I buy supplies and stuff. Just gonna mark it all out. Okay. It kind of looks a little weird, but you know what? I don't really care because I'm saving money and the earth when I do this. Okay, they're in there. Gonna write gift on it. So, see it says gift. So that will also be going in the package. Then we always fill out a business card. So this is my business card. Then on the back, I write a little note. Kind of messed up a lot on this card, but whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Then I normally get a top loader and a sleeve to put the business card in. So there's these. I have a million of these and I'm just trying to get rid of them. So I always put the business cards in here. So that's this. Then to finish everything off, I always package it, you know? I don't know why I set it like that. So I just write my name, my address, their address. And then I fill everything up, so I'm gonna do that right now. Obviously, you can't see my address or their address. <laughs> All right, I filled everything out. Then I put the business card in first. This is a horrible angle. I feel, I feel awful. Okay, business card first, and then I normally put the gift in second. 
because I want it all the way at the back so people don't think that's the only thing they got. And then the main pair of earrings go in. And then I peel this thing off and I just, you know, do that. And that thing normally doesn't hold all the way, so I always add some extra tape to the sides to be 100% certain that it won't open. And then that's all. That's how I package everything. You can help me um, buy Elvis. Um, he will be in plenty of videos, I promise. Uh, by buying some earrings from me. The link will be in the description. And I hope you enjoyed this video a lot. And if you want, you can buy earrings from me. I'm never going to like forcibly ask you to buy earrings from me. Just if you want to. And if you like them. And if you have your ears pierced and stuff like that. Or if you want to give them as a gift to someone. A lot of people give them as gifts. And yeah. So thank you so much for watching again. And thank you for supporting me. Don't like and don't subscribe.